Hello, Katherine. How are you? Oh, your your microphone is off. I cannot listen to you. En este micrófono apagado, no te puedo escuchar. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hello, Catherine. How are you? I was fixing my camera that I don't know why, but it looks so bad today. But anyway. How are you today? Mm, so so, teacher. Why? What happened? Mm, haciendo limpieza en la casa. Ah, no, because that's, I mean, it's necessary. You have to, once you are at home, you need to work. <laughs> Cuando uno está en la casa, hay que hacer limpieza, hay que hacer de todo. So sí. we, we don't have the chance to do anything else, right? So it's working and working and working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you are at home, that's the only option that we have, right? Solo nos queda hacer limpieza y ordenar y todo. No es único día. <laughs> yeah, and you say, okay, it's vacation. You say, I'm not going to do anything. No, nothing. On vacation is when you do more than the other days. On vacation, it's everything, right? You need to do the cleaning. You need to organize. You need to do every yes. single thing on vacation. So, but you have the whole week. Tienes toda la semana de vacaciones? Sí. Yes. Wow, that's so nice. Because at least you can rest a little bit. Puedes descansar un poquito. And it is, it is good. Uh -huh. Clases hasta ahora. Yes. Tomorrow we don't have classes. Tomorrow it's vacation. Okay. Tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday vacation. On Monday we come back because we need to come back, right? So there is no option. We need to come back on Monday. So it's necessary. But it's only for today, okay? It's only today. Okay. So have you had the chance to work on the platform? Ya la trabajé. Okay, have you finished it? No yet? Yes. Okay, that's that's good. That's pretty good that you already finished, right? If you finish the platform, that's good. Okay, ah, yeah, your most of your classmates are coming. Mr. Antonio, hoy no hay, no hay pero que nadie me diga estoy trabajando, no vienen nada, todos van a estar aquí. Okay, so let's set up. Hello, Antonio. How are you? Hola. Hello. Hello. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Pero... <laughs> yeah. Hoy nadie dice que está lloviendo ni nada. Hoy todos están aquí. Quiere llover, pero. Ajá. Se ve como que sí. No, I think it's not going to rain. At least not right now. Al menos no va a llover ahorita. That's the most important thing. Yes. Una pregunta, Miss. Dígame. En el segundo módulo siempre vamos a seguir con usted. I hope. <laughs> no, yo espero que sí. Espero que sí sigamos juntos y, este, y que me den la oportunidad de seguir con usted. Eso es lo más importante. Okay. It, it is very common that, that we continue together. Okay, so we are going to work today on the manual. Let me just finish fixing this. I don't know what's going on with my computer today. Okay. So let me open my screen. Welcome, Joanita. Welcome, Christian, Mr. Steven, Tatiana. Welcome. Welcome to your class. So 
Okay, we have a we have a fight there. Tenemos una pelea ahí de the canes. Okay, so let's move on business. Welcome everybody, welcome to your class. It's a pleasure to have you all here on another day of classes. And for sure it's the last one. Today is the last day of classes of this week. Next week, we are going to continue on Monday, right? Tomorrow we don't have classes, not on Wednesday, on Thursday, Friday, no classes, okay? Hoy es el único día de esta semana que vamos a tener clases. El día de mañana ya es vacación, okay? Ya hoy a las nueve, si quieres, se puede ir a la playa. No hay problema. A las nueve cero uno. What are you going to do at nine? I will go to the beach, you say. I am going to go to, I don't know, I'm going to sleep. I am going to do anything. Okay, I'm going to watch Netflix from today until on the Monday. So you are going to do anything that you want from nine on. A las 9.01 se pueden ir a vagar, a, 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 no sé, a la rueda, a donde quieran ir. A las 9.01. Okay, <laughs> no antes. So we are going to be working today on WH questions. Today we are going to work on WH questions with do and does, and we are going to practice a little bit of what we started last week, okay? Last week, last week, yeah, Friday, yeah, we started doing this, and um, we started working on sentences with WH words, like what, why, where, who, how, right? We were working on those type of questions. So today we are going to continue with that. We are, the, we are going to continue with the WH forms of questions, okay? To start the class, we are going to practice a little bit of um, spelling. We are going to practice a little bit of words, right? With different, uh, with different letters, we are going to practice a little bit of spelling. I need you please to, let me see, I am going to go here. I am going to share my screen. Okay. Let me know when you can see it. Yes. Okay, and I am going to give you 10 different verbs. I am going to give you 10 different verbs and you are going to create 10 different sentences, okay? Les voy a dar 10 palabras, pueden ser verbos, pueden ser sujetos, pueden ser cualquier tipo de palabras y ustedes van a crear 10 oraciones, okay? That's what you are going to do. I am going to write them right now. It can be affirmative, negative or interrogative. It doesn't matter, right? Affirmative, negative or interrogative, it's okay. I am going to give you 10 words and you can do it with first person, second person. You can do it in affirmative. You can do it in interrogative. Anyway, okay. And I'm going to right here. Okay, I have three, six, seven, eight. I will go with nine and 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. So here you have them, you have the 10 words. I will make them big and I need you to create 10 different sentences. It can be affirmative, negative. It can be interrogative. It can be in any type, okay? First person, second person, the way you want, okay? Go ahead, create them. Create the sentences. Una pregunta. Yep. Vamos a usar las WH questions. It can be anything, no. right? The way you want. Okay. Puede ser como tú quieras. Puede ser WH questions, yes, no questions, affirmative sentence, negative sentences, anything. But you have to okay. use the word here. I am going to make one example. Imagine that I have the word dog, okay? I have the word dog. 
And I can create as many sentences as I want, okay? ¿Qué puedo crear con la palabra dog? I can say, where is the dog? Where, oh, sorry, I ate the S. Where is the dog? And I have one WH question. I have another one. Is it your dog? That dog is big. I want a dog. Okay. And you can say, that is not my dog. Okay. Those are the options of sentences. Esos son ejemplos de las que pudieran crear con la palabra dog. Ustedes solo van a hacer una por palabra. Okay. Only one per word. Okay. You have to write 10 sentences. Okay. Go ahead. Teacher, buenas noches. Hello, Dalila, how are you? Eh, tomé unos minutos después para conectarme porque acá está lloviendo fuerte. Ok. Eh, pero no comprendí muy bien lo que vamos a hacer con las palabras. Ok, les compartí 10 palabras que son estas que tienen aquí, okay, que son estas de aquí, estas 10. Y lo que van a hacer es hacer 10 oraciones. Pueden ser afirmativas, negativas, preguntas, yes, no questions, WH questions, lo que quieran. Pero tiene que ser incluida la palabra que les puse. Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Okay, we have five more minutes. Nos quedan solo cinco minutos para terminar, chicos. Vamos.
When you finish, you can raise your hand on the platform so I can know that you already finished and you can start reading, okay? Cuando terminen, pueden levantar su manita en la plataforma para que yo sepa que ya van terminando y ver cuántos nos faltan porque terminen. Did you finish? Raise your hand on the platform so I can know that you finish. Thank you, Joanna. Okay, Joanna, can you read your sentences, please? Okay. Eh, la primera es She dances salsa. Good. Eh, we play basketball. Very good. Eh, aquí sí tuve una confusión. Uh -huh. eh, quise poner he writes poems, pero no sé si está correcto ponerle la S al verbo con plural. No, it's okay. He writes sí. poems because the plural eh, in this case doesn't affect. El plural de los poemas no afecta en este caso. Si fuera they, ahí sí no le pones plural. Oh, okay. No le pones ese, ¿ok? Porque sí el sujeto es plural. Pero en este caso el objeto es plural, eso no afecta. ¿Ok? He writes poems. That's good. Okay. What else? Number three, where are they? Where are they? Very good. Number four, it is a new car. Number five, uh, my family and me go to the dish. Very good. Number six, where do you lear, learn English? Where did you? Porque uh, ahí sería pasado. Where did you? Where, where do you learn English? Where do you learn English? Good, very good. Mm -hmm. Number seven, that Carol is beautiful. 
Very good. Uh, number eight, you are very happy. Excellent. And number nine, when, when do you travel to Brazil? When do you travel to Brazil? That's very good. Excellent. Nice sentences, Joanna. Very good job. Very good job. You did a nice job on your sentence. Very nice job. Let's see who's next. Can see. Who's next, my dear students? Hello, Mr. Jose. How are you? No lo había saludado. Okay, who's next? Can see. Tatiana, vamos. Go ahead. Okay, she is a nurse. She's a nurse. My brother plays basketball. Plays basketball. Sofia, uh -huh. Sofia writes a book about her life. Good. They are best friends. They are best friends. Good. It is. It is my cat. It is my cat. Good. I can go to other country. Okay. I learn English every day. Very good job. The butterfly is beautiful. Excellent. The water. The water is very hot. Excellent. He lives. He lives in Brazil. He lives in Brazil. He lives. He lives he, in Brazil. Very good job, right? He lives in Brazil. Nice job. Excellent sentences, Tatiana. Very good. Who is next? The next one. Go ahead, Mr. Anthony. Okay. I cannot listen to you very well. Creo que no, no te puedo escuchar muy, muy, muy bien. Ahí estamos. Vamos. Ah, ok. Antonio se va a ir a poner sus audífonos. En todo lo que viene Antonio, José, lea las suyas. En todo lo que viene Antonio. Um, she is my friend. Good, very good. Do you play soccer? Excellent. I am right English class. Okay, I write. I write in the English class. I write in the English class. Because si decimos I am right, yo soy escribo, entonces no va. Uh, I write in the English class. Good. I write in the English class. Uh -huh. The English class. Okay. They go a dance. Okay. They they go they go to a dance. They go to a dance. To a dance. Uh, it is an apple. It is an apple. Very good. Uh, do you go play soccer? Do you go play soccer? Excellent. Uh, do you learn it is a, a, a book? Okay. Do you learn? Can you repeat that one? ¿Me podrías repetir eso de learn? It is a book. Ah, it is a book. That's good. My wife is beautiful. My wife is beautiful. Excellent. She is very sexy. <laughs> she is very sexy. Right? And your wife behind you. <laughs> Brazil is big. Brazil is big, right? Brazil is big. Excellent sentences. Nice job, Mr. Jose. Very good job. Make the corrections that I mentioned, okay? Antonio and then Catherine. Um, la primera. Uh, she plays soccer every day. Very good. We play soccer this Friday. We play soccer on Fridays. Very good. 
She writes, writes in the book. She writes in her book. Uh huh. They cook for family. Okay, they cook for the family. They cook for the family. For the family. Uh, it, it, is, it is your cell phone. It is your cell phone, okay. Do we go to the park in the afternoon? Do we go to the park in the afternoon? Do she learn, learn English in the night? Okay, does she learn English at night? At night. At night. Yes. Okay. My, my mother is beautiful. Excellent. Do, do she ever beautiful? Okay. Does she, in that case, is like, you can say, uh, is she, is she very beautiful? Is she, is she very beautiful? Is she very beautiful? There you go. Y la última, I am visit Brasil. I am visit Brazil. I am visiting. I am visiting Brazil or I want to visit Brazil. It can be. Right. I want to visit Brazil. Excellent sentences, Antonio. Nice. Nice job. Very good job. Catherine, vamos. Number one, she's my sister. Number two, I like to play soccer. Soccer, good. Number three, I like to work in class. I like to work in class. Good. Uh, number four, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Okay, that's good. Number five, it is my home. Okay. I work work. Okay, number six, can you repeat that one? Because I didn't listen. No te escuché la número I like seis. To I like to learn English. Good. My is beautiful. Excellent. Okay. She's not from Brazil. She's she is from not from Brazil. She is from Argentina. Very good sentences. Thank you, Catherine. Nice job. Nice job, the one that you did on your creation of sentences. Anyone else? I need two more volunteers. Don't miss the opportunity to practice. Go ahead. I need two more volunteers. If you don't say me, it's going to be the Docratic, okay? Si no veo manita, va a ser Docratic. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Very good job. Thank you. Go, go, Christian, go. Christian, your microphone is off. I cannot listen to you. Ah, ahora sí, lo tenía activado. Yes. <laughs> y ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Si no lo anotaron, pero ah. bien. Ah, 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 go ahead. <laughs> uh, come go. Go, uh, she is my sister. Excellent. Uh, Julio plays soccer in the afternoon. Okay. He writes homework in the school. Okay, he writes homework. He writes homework in the school. Very good. They are my best friend. They are my best friends. It is my dog. It is my dog. I go to work at uh, 8 a.m. Okay, 8.30, 8 30. 8 30. Mm -hmm. He learns computer in the morning. Okay, he learns about computers. He learns mm -hmm. about computers yeah. in the morning. My mother is beautiful. My mother is beautiful. Is he very intelligent? Excellent. My father is from Brazil. My father is from Brazil. Great job with your sentences, Christian. Nice sentences. And the last one, who is going to be my final volunteer? My final volunteer. Great job, Christian. Uh-huh. 
Only one. Let's see, let's see who looks like if he wants to participate. Okay. Vamos a escoger a una de las tres incógnitas. Luz, Alma, or Catherine. Luz, can you share your sentences, please? Fíjense que como no fue en otra clase, no sé. <laughs> no, this is, this is original sentences. These are just sentences. Esas son okay. oraciones originales. Como tú las quieras hacer, solo que tienen que ir esas palabras que les di ahí. Estas. Ok, que, que en la de voy a hacer. okay Luz, <risa> trate de hacerla, ya nos prometió. Edwin, go ahead. Aún estoy tratando de hacerla, pero es que ando como un bloqueo, créanme que. Ok, compartiendo las que tenés y te ayudamos con las demás, vamos. No, sí. Solo he, he intentado hacer algunos, pero no sé si son así. Quiero okay. que... Ok, Ve no, veámosla. Mi mente anda en otro mundo. Uh, that's why I don't fall in love. ¿Ya ven por qué no me enamoro yo? La vacación. No. Ay, 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 He is not right in the book. Estaría bien. Okay, he is not right in the book. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't write. He doesn't write in the book, right? He doesn't write in the book. He doesn't write in the book. Like this. Give me the next one. My dog play in the park. My dog? Yeah, you see, it's plays because dog uh -huh. is it. Okay, my dog plays in the park. Okay. Don't worry. No, 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 but that's correct. No, no, me perdido. La oración estaba correcta. Another one? It is a sad dog. It is a sad dog. That's good. Okay, this is not a, the adjective is first, so you say this is not a, y ahí ponemos el adjetivo, a beautiful, this is not a beautiful, Flower. Y ahí ponemos qué estamos hablando. ¿De qué estamos hablando? First the adjective and then the object. This is not a beautiful flower. Another one. Okay. Is she happy? Is she happy? Good. Um, falta? Ahí te la voy poniendo. They go learn very in Brazil. We are going to the beach. Okay, very good. We are go to the beach. In that case, we cannot say that. So you say, you can use it like we will. We will go. Vamos a ir. We will go to the beach. Because if you say we are go, it's like nosotros somos fuimos. So it's not correct. Nosotros somos vamos and that's not correct, right? We will go to the beach. Vamos a ir. Or we go to the beach. Only like that. The next one. Si no le vamos a pedir a... Veamos. Alma Dalila, help me with the next ones. Nos falta day, nos falta learn, nos falta very Brasil. Dalila, help me. 
ok, teacher. No sé si están bien así como las he hecho, pero... Tell me. Hice... <ríe> pero, pero sí. Eh, no las hice en orden, pero sí hice todas las palabras. Ok. She is beautiful. Excellent. I love you. I play. Ok, I play. That's good. I play. Mm, no, oh, I love I... you. I ok. Play. Ah, uh, very good. Let's see. When you say, I love you, I love you, a play. Okay. Yo, My... te, yo te amo un juego. <laughs> That's not correct. So in that case, you say, I love, I love to play. Me encanta oh. jugar. <laughs> I love to play, right? No, yo voy a corregir. Este It's es, okay. Es, en lugar de la A, es tú. In that case, yes, I love to play. To play. Oh. Uh, la tercera es, my favorite color is white. Okay, white, pero ahí dice right. Está bien que hicimos otra con white. That's good. Another sentence. That's perfect, right? Esa es otra palabra. It's okay. White, it's the color. Agregando más del extra mile de Alma Dalila. <laughs> I am, I am very great. Así creo que se escribe esa palabra, o sea, se pronuncia. W E W L. Okay, I am very what? Mm -hmm. No, I am very what? Ajá, uh -huh, I am very great. Es como <laughs> Ah, very well, like this. Estoy muy bien. I am very well. That's correct. Estoy That's bien. good. Uh -huh. I have to go a cine. Ah, I have to. Okay, okay. Let's let's write it here. I have to go to the movies. To the movies, right? I have to go to the movies. El cine, it's in Spanish, right? I have to go to the movies. I have to go to the movies. Oh, okay. I have to go to the movies. And the last one is going to be for Leticia Gonzalez. Thank you, Alma Dalila. Leticia, okay. give me one with learn. Hello, teacher. Hi, Leticia. Give me a sentence using the verb learn. Um, we learn English. We learn English. Fantastic. We learn English. Excellent job. Right? We learned English. And there you go. There you have all the sentences with the different words. And it was a very good practice for you. It is not something specific. It was not something established like these are affirmative, these are negative, or these are interrogative. This is good for you to practice vocabulary in general, right? It's good for you to practice vocabulary. You can do this type of practice all the time so you can improve your language, you can improve your vocabulary, you can write more things, and it is going to be very beneficial for you. Let me see if I can do this one. Okay, no, it doesn't go here. Forget it. I am going to show you this one. Okay, let's stop sharing right here, and I am going to go back, and I am going to share my conversation. Let's go right here. Thank you for all the sentences that you created, my dear students. Let's go here. This conversation is on your manual, right? And it is about events, right? It is about events. Here we have Kevin and Albert. And here is the conversation, right? Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, está de renuente. There we go. Come on. I see. What do you have to do on Thursday? It says, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? 
I'm not sure. What time does he finish work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, here we have a conversation about different events. Tell me, what are the activities that he does on Thursday? What are the activities that he does on Thursday? Uh -huh. What activities does he have to do on Thursday? Check the produ production. Check the production for the new product. And what is the second activity? Um, write, write, about it. write a report about it, right? He has to check the production for the new product and write a report about it, okay? He needs help for something. What does he need help for? He needs help for something specific. What does he need help for? Move some boxes. Exactly, to move some boxes. To move some boxes. Is the person going to help him? Yes or no? Is the person going to help him? Yes. It says, sure. Sure, it means, yes, I am going to do it. Sure, right? What is it about, okay? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do today? I'm not sure, it says. What time does he finish work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time, <clears throat> okay? So in this case, we have other information. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do on Thursday? We don't really know, right? We don't really know what he has to do. Okay, hey, what happened with my PDF? Okay. So we have, what do you have to do on Thursday? Go with me. What do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product. I just checked the production for the new product. I just checked the production for the new product. And write a report about it. And write a report about why. Why? Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Okay, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Sure. 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 What is it about? What is it about? What is it about? What is it about? What happens in El Salvador? Do you say sure after that question? Aquí en El Salvador decimos, sí, sí, claro, antes de preguntar qué es lo que vamos a hacer. O es al revés. Al revés. Ok, al revés. en El Salvador, when you say, can you do me a favor? And you say, mm, what is it about? What is it about? And then you say, para qué, o okay. qué. And then you say, oh, sure, or you invent an excuse. Ok, that's the most common thing. In English, it's very common that you say, can you do me a favor? Sure, because they are very polite, right? Ellos son bien amables y para tú te van a decir, sí, claro, te ayudo. Okay, say, can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? And they are going to do it. But here in El Salvador, we say, mm, ¿qué vamos a hacer? What is it about? 
And then you say like, mira, es que me voy a mudar y tengo que subir todo a un camión. Ay, fíjate que veo la espalda, vea, no puedo. So it's not possible. You cannot help people move some boxes just like that. What is it about? And it says, what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What time does he finish work on Thursday? What time does he finish work? Aquí no sería finish two. Okay, perdón que estoy corrigiendo el manual. What time does he, does he finish work on Thursday? What time does he finish work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? When does he have free time? When does he have free time? Okay, very good. If I have a question for you, if I ask you the question, when do you have free time? What will be your answer? When do you have free time? What is your answer? I have free time on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When do you have free time? You can say, I have free time on Monday in the morning, or I have free time on Friday afternoon, or I have free time on Sunday morning. When do you have free time? Or you don't have free time? Uh, I have free time on Sunday. After. On Sunday afternoon, okay? I have free time on Sunday afternoon. Okay, if you want to invite Joanna, Sunday afternoon, okay? Not on, on Monday, on Sunday. What about the rest? Catherine Elizabeth, when do you have free time? Uy, I cannot listen to you, honey. No te escucho. No te escuché. Ilse, when do you have free time? Catherine, tu micrófono está apagado. No te escucho. Friday in the morning. <laughs> Send it on the chat because it doesn't work. No sé por qué no te funciona el micrófono. Mándamelo al chat. Ilse. I have free time on the Saturday. Saturday what time? In the morning, in, in the afternoon, at night. Um, thinking about <laughs> in the morning, in, in the, the afternoon. Morning. Okay, in the morning. Good, in the morning. Antonio Jose, when do you have free time? Uh, uh, I'm free time on Friday. 
Friday night, okay, Friday night. Edwin Steven, when do you have free time? I have free time on Sunday night. Sunday night, okay, Christian, when do you have free time? Okay, aquí está la pregunta. When do you have free time? ¿Cuándo tienes tiempo libre? On Sunday, okay. Look for Christian on Sundays. All the Sunday. <laughs> because we didn't listen, right? On Sunday, during the whole day. So, that is, aquí es muy fuerte, dice. También por eso no le escucho. Oh, my God. I know, I know. It's really, it's really difficult to listen like that. But thank you, Christian. On Sundays. We have time on Sundays. So, that is availability. When do you have time to do the different things? Let's go here. And we have a couple of questions. Let's work on the questions. In this one, you have WH questions with the with what, with why, with who, and with what. To know if you are going to use do or does, you have to check on the subject. Okay? You have to check the subject of the sentence. In this case, who is the subject of the sentence? It's Albert, okay? In the sentence here, it's Kevin. In this one is you. What is the subject on the last sentence? Mr. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz, right? Mr. Ruiz is the subject on the last sentence. So, Albert, in this case, what subject it is? Is it I, you, he, she, they? What is Albert in this case? It's he or she? It's a he, right? Albert, in this case, it's a he. So, for he, she, and it, what auxiliary do we need? We need thus, okay? What does Albert have to do on Thursday? For Kevin, what is the same case? Kevin is the same case. Kevin is he. What subject, what auxiliary, sorry, do we need for the subject he? Do? Das. Das. das, because Kevin in this case is he. For he, she, and it, we use does. Okay, why does Kevin need help? What about you? Do. Do, right? Porque no es ni he, ni she, ni it. Who do you think it's going to help Kevin? Who do you think it's going to help Kevin? And Mr. Ruiz is he. So you say, what does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? What does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? According to the questions in the conversation, let's go back to the conversations. So here, let me just go back here. Let me erase this one, okay? We have only the answer. Okay. For the first question, what does Albert do on Thursday? And let's go back here. What does Albert do on Thursday? Check the production for the next Okay, so in that case, you say he checks the production because it's a third person sentence, right? He checks the production. And 
What about the next one here? Why does Kevin need help? Why does Kevin need help? He needs help to move some boxes, right? He needs help to move some boxes. So in that case, you say he needs, because it's a third person sentence. He needs help to move some boxes. What about the next one? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Who is going to help Kevin? Who is going to help Kevin? Uh, Albert. Albert, right? Albert is going to help Kevin. The next one and the last one, what does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? What does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? What does Mr. Ruiz? Uh -huh. Okay, in that case, you say, what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not sure. So we don't know. I'm not sure. Because the information is not in the conversation, right? I don't know. It's not given. The information is not given in the conversation. Okay. So here are some examples of the, of the WH words that we have been talking about. So let's move here. Hmm. Okay. Give him some time to wake up. In that case, I can tell you, for example, I can create the different questions for you. And I can say, what do you do? What do you do on Wednesdays? What do you do on Wednesdays, people? What will be your answer? What do you do on Wednesdays? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of this question? ¿Cuál sería el significado de esta pregunta? What do you do on Wednesdays? Mm-hmm. What do you do on Wednesdays? ¿Qué significa esa pregunta? ¿Qué haces ¿Qué hace? los, los miércoles? Los miércoles. What do you do on Wednesdays? I work, I study. Right? That's what you do on Wednesdays. Why, in that case, I am going to ask you what, one question with why. Why do you learn English? Why do you learn English? What is the meaning of that question? What does it mean, that question? ¿Por qué aprendes? ¿Por qué aprendes inglés? Okay, ¿por qué aprendes inglés? And in this case, I am going to make one with who. Who do you like to work in class? Okay. Who do you like to work in class with? Who do you like to work in class with? Who do you? It means con quien. What would be the meaning of that one? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, it, this type of question because of the form of the question. Okay, who do you like to work with? En esta pregunta específicamente lo ponemos al, al final. Okay, es por el significado, o sea, con quién te gusta trabajar en clase. But this structure of question with goes at the end. Because in this case, you cannot say with whom. Ah, if you want to put it at the beginning, you can say with whom. With whom? Con quien? Esa es otra forma, right? But it's not really common. With whom do you like to work? Okay. With whom do you like to work? But this is very Spanish. I feel it very Spanish. This is, the, well, it's more common to use it like this, right? This is structure. Who do you like to work in class with? Okay, because it's the, the structure of the question is just like that. Okay, and this is another option, but it's not really common. Okay, for this type of question, cuando preguntas con quién, con quién, con quién trabajas, con quién comes, con quién te vas en el bus, who do you go with? Who do you travel with? Who do you cook with? En esa pregunta, cuando andas buscando con quién haces algo específico. Okay. In that case, you put with at the end. Okay. So, who do you like to work in class with? Con quién le gusta trabajar en clase? For example, if I ask eh, Tatiana, who do you like to work with? So you say, I like to work with. I like to work with Joanna. With Joanna. Jose Reyes, who do you like to work with? I like to work with um, Ilse and Joanna. With Ilse and Joanna. Steven, who do you like to work with? Con quien te gusta trabajar? With all of them. <laughs> Para no crear polémica. <laughs> With all my classmates, you say. With Alma Dalila. Porque son besitos. <laughs> Alma Dalila, who do you like to work with? Do you, li do you like to work? So in that case, you say, I like to work with, y ahí vas en la respuesta. I like to work with, y me das los nombres. I like to work with, um, I like to work with ah, with everybody. You say, I like to work with everybody. That's so nice, right? I like to work with all of them. Good. So, as you like to work with everybody, we are going to continue working and then we are going to have a little activity. Okay. So, here I have the ones that we that we have been working on, right? The information questions. Why do you call them information questions? Because you need to give details. Okay. If you say, for example, do you like English? ¿Qué opciones de respuesta tenemos? Yes or no. But if I ask you, why do you like English? You have to give me the explanation of the question, right? It is not the same. No es lo mismo que yo te pregunte, do you like English? Yes or no? Because you're going to say, yes, teacher, no, teacher. That's it. But if I say, why do you like English? You have to give me reasons. Me tienen que dar la respuesta. Me tienen que dar una razón de esa pregunta. Because I need to improve my job. Because I want a better position in the job. Because I want to travel. Because I want uh, to get my visa. Because I want to go to work in a different country. I don't know. Why? You have to give me reasons. Okay, so that's why they are called information questions. Es por eso que se llaman information questions, because you give information on the answer. So let's go right here. And we have, what is the first question? Can you help me to read it? What? 
What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? And what does she do? Can you tell me the information? What is the answer? She visits other companies and and has okay there, <laughs> there you go she visits other companies and has meetings she visits other companies and has meetings what about question number two where does where does he go on Quest. On Tuesdays. Afternoon. Oh, Tuesdays Tuesday. afternoon. Afternoon. Okay. What? Where does he go on Tuesdays afternoon? And what is the answer? He goes. What is the answer? He goes. He goes. He goes to the company headquarters. What is the meaning of headquarters? La sede central, right? La sede central, la main campus, right? La sede central de la compañía. What about the next one? What is the next question? Number three. <laughs> Which department, department does our bus supervise? Which department does our bus supervise? And what is the answer? Oh. Our bus supervises the marketing department. Excellent. Our bus supervises the marketing department, right? Hello. And the last... Hello, everybody. The last question. The last question. What time does Miguel start to work? What time does Miguel start to work, right? What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock, right? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. This is important, right? If we have the third person form of the verbs, we need to use the correct pronunciation, right? We need to add the S on pronunciation. We cannot say she visit. So you say she visits with the S. He goes. Our boss supervises, right? The S at the end. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Okay, help me to read the first answer. Okay, okay, practiquémoslas. Vamos a ver si nos suena bien el third person verb. Number one, what is the sentence number one? She visits other companies and has meetings. Go ahead. She visits other companies and has meetings. What about number two? He goes. He goes to the company's headquarters. Headquarters, right? Headquarters. Headquarters. What about the next one? Our boss supervises the marketing department. Okay, our boss supervises the marketing department. Very good. What about the last one? Miguel. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Okay, Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Excellent job. Let's go back right here. We are going to create a couple of sentences. For these ones, we are going to use the correct auxiliary. Okay, we are going to use the correct auxiliary according to the subject. What will be the correct auxiliary for question number one? What will be the correct auxiliary? Does. Does. Okay, very good. Does. Does. 
So in this one, we have, okay, let's go here. We have why does, does he, he have a meeting? Okay, why does he have a meeting? What is question number two then? ¿Cómo armaríamos la segunda? Where does, where does she? Where does she? Okay, let me write it. Let me write it here. Where does she process the payments? Payments. Where does she process the payments? Very good. What about number three? What? No. What? What? What do you know? What do you know? Okay. Let's continue with the example. Follow the example. Sigan el ejemplo que tenemos. What does in What does in Ingrid, do, do on Wednesdays, right? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Okay. And what about the last one? Follow the same procedure. Read the subject. Oh, when do okay, the employee the employee is el empleado he or she ahí nos faltó una letra okay, when when does the employee acquire the raw material. Okay, ahí le faltó una palabra a, la, a las opciones. When does the employee acquire the raw material? Okay, as you can see here, we follow the structure. WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Okay, seguimos la estructura y se fijan aquí. WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. In this one, WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Okay. If I start the question with what? What? Does she? ¿Qué verbo le pondrían después? What does she? What does she? ¿Qué verbo usaría? Eat. What does she eat for dinner? Okay. What does she eat for dinner? Si les pongo la pregunta where, ¿cómo la complementarían? Does. Where? Does. Where does? He. He. Eat for dinner. Oh, okay, where does he eat for dinner? No. Where does he eat? Is donde? Donde que? Where does he work? You can say, where does he work? Donde trabaja él? If I say, for example, when? I'm going to when. When do you go? When do you go? When do you go? The complement. 
when do you go to visit? What? When do you go to visit? Your sister. Okay. When do you go to visit your sister? And then you have a question. ¿Cuándo vas a visitar a tu hermano? ¿Cuándo visitas a tu hermano? And if I say, how, how do you prepare a sandwich? How do you prepare a sandwich? That's another question, right? With how. Okay, and as you can see, we have the same pattern, right? WH word auxiliaries. Then you have subjects, verbs, okay, and complements. Ahí tenemos las, las diferentes partes. WH word auxiliary, subject, and verb, <coughs> and the complement, okay? Let's continue checking more examples. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos, okay? And here we have a short conversation. Antonio, help me with the conversation. Tú eres la A y yo soy la B y Joan es la C. What do you, what do, you do on birthday? On weekdays, weekdays. weekdays. I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and I send emails. Wow. When does your supervisor check, check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what around you? What do you do? Invent something, Joanna. Well. Uh -huh, invent something, Joanna. What about you? What do you do? Well, mm. invent an activity. I perdí. Uh, well, I. I prepared the dinner. I prepared dinner, right? I prepared dinner for the company. <laughs> I prepared dinner for the company. <laughs> That's okay. So here you have examples of questions, right? The questions that you have here. What do you do on weekdays? Weekdays son los días de la semana. Weekend es el fin de semana. When does your supervisor check all the things you do? And what about you? What do you do? Right, you have the different questions, okay? So there you have the different forms of questions. We are going to check a little bit more on this. Later on, we are going to check on more examples, right? So here, I have Mr. Mrs. Robles' agenda, right? The agenda of Mrs. Robles. She is Mrs. Robles. She has many things to do. Tell me, what time does she, uh, what time does she have a video call with the supervisor? What time does she have a video call with the supervisor? Eight thirty. Uh -huh. Eight thirty. How would you answer that? ¿Cómo responderíamos en este caso? So you say, she has a video call with the supervisor at 8.30. That is the complete form of answer. What time is the workshop lunch? What time is the workshop lunch? She has a worship lunch at uh, 12. At 12, right? She has a worship lunch at 12. What time is she meeting with the marketing department? Oh, 
Jose Reyes, what time is she meeting with the marketing department? Meeting, me dijo, es. What time is she meeting the marketing department? Aquí tienen toda la agenda de Mrs. Robles. Ve. No. Fallamos como asistente, bitch. What time? What time? Uh -huh. Edwin, Steven, tell me. Department fifteen. Seven fifteen. Good. The answer was correct. She has a meeting with the marketing department at seven fifteen. The answer was good. What is she going to do at one forty five? What is she going to do at one forty five? Excellent, Catherine. Excellent. She has the second part of the workshop. Very good job. Very nice. And what is she going to do at 5.55? What is she going to do at 5.55? She has to send tomorrow's schedule. She has to send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez. Right, the new secretary. She has to send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, the new secretary, and she is going to leave. So tell me, is it something new here for you? New vocabulary, new words, palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo for you? Or everything is clear. Las conocen todas. Leave. Irse. Workshop. Workshop. Workshop es un entrenamiento, una capacitación, un taller. La palabra que está después de tomorrow's. Ok. Tomorrow's schedule. Right. Schedule es agenda. Agenda, la agenda, todo lo que tienes que hacer tú, tu horario, right, your schedule. Eso que están viendo aquí de, de Mrs. Eh, West es her schedule, right, esta es su agenda, este es su horario. Workshop, un taller. Research, research is when you investigate. Investigación, improve, mejorar. Improve means mejorar. Development, desarrollo. West, el West is the name of the company. The West Company, from West Company. West solo significa oeste. Hice una pregunta. Yes. Este, donde dice send tomorrow's. Lleva una S al final. Ah, very good. Send tomorrow's schedule. Ya ven, por eso hasta ahí quería llegar. To send tomorrow's schedule. Tomorrow's schedule, this is possession, right? Eso significa posesión. ¿De cuándo es el, el horario? Del día de mañana. It's tomorrow's schedule, okay? So in this case, for example, if I say, Joanna's house. Joanna's house. ¿De quién es la casa? ¿De? De Joanna. If I say the cat's tail is big. Okay. ¿Cuál es el verbo en esta oración? ¿Cuál es el verbo en esta oración? 
Is, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta S de aquí no es un verbo, es un posesivo. Estamos hablando de la cola de quién? Del gato. gato. Es la cola del gato. Eso es del. Este es el, la agenda de mañana. Okay. That's the possession. Okay. Tomorrow's schedule is la agenda de mañana. La cola del gato. La casa de Joana. It means the possession of someone. Okay. That's the meaning of that S. Por eso esto tiene una S, porque aquí el verbo es send. Send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez. Okay, tomorrow's schedule. ¿Qué, ¿Qué horario le van a mandar? ¿El de mañana, el del viernes, el de mañana? So that's the meaning of that apostrophe S. Okay, and those are the questions that I was making to you. What time is the video call with the West Company? What time is the video call with the West Company? Eight thirty, right? Eight thirty. Good job. What about the next one? What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the workshop with the research department start? Night. At nine. Very good. At nine. And the last one. What time does the company close? ¿A qué hora cierran? What At time? 5.55. At 5.55, because she says that she has to leave, right? She has to leave. She's going to go out of the company. She has to leave, right? To go, to send the email and leave. That's what she's going to do. Okay. And here we have about the schedules. Very good job. And finally, we have the questions with what time? Okay, with what time? In this case, it's the questions that I was making, right? Las preguntas que justo les estaba haciendo. What time is the video call? What time do you go? What time do you start, right? Those are the questions with what time. And in the answer, you are going to have an expression of time with when you say, for example, one o'clock. One o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6.48, 7 or 3 or 7.30. Okay. So those are questions with WH talking about the time. What time? What is the first question that we have here? ¿Cuál es la primera pregunta que tenemos? What time does the meeting start? What time does the meeting start? What time does the meeting start, people? At one, at one eight o'clock. It starts at one oh eight. At one oh eight o'clock. The second question, what time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? At about 6.48, más o menos, a las 6.48. At about, at about significa alrededor de, at about 6.48. And the last one, what time do employees leave? What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Seven seven okay, usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay, great job. So I am going to call the attendance, my dear students, and then we are going to do a little activity, okay? I am going to stop sharing with you and we are going to do an activity, okay? Here we go. Just give me a second. I'm going to call the attendance. And I have here Alma Dalila. 
I am present teacher. Alba Leticia. Present teacher. Antonio Jose. Present teacher. Christian. Present teacher. Edwin Steven. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Janet. Present teacher. Janet Tatiana. Present teacher. Jose Heriberto. Thank you. Catherine Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Lisbeth. Present teacher. Leticia. Leticia Magdalena. Ilse Marlene. Ilse, se me perdió la Ilse justo ahorita. Luz de Jesús. Hey, Lucecita, se me perdió. En Joana Mariela. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me share something with all of you. Here I am going to share this screen. And I need you to check it out. We are going to have here, for example, we have a little calendar. Okay, we have a little calendar with the different days of, of the week and the different uh, dates of it. What are we going to do here? I need you please to check on the calendar because you are going to write activities on it, okay? You are going to write activities on the calendar on the different days, but you are going to work with your group, okay? You are going to work with your group and what you are going to do here is to write different activities on each of the days, okay? but leave some days free. How? How are you going to do it? For example, okay, esto es lo que vamos a hacer. How are you going to do it? You are going to choose the different days. Van a escoger días distintos con su grupo. And you are going to write activities that day. For example, here you say, okay, escojamos el, and you say, escojamos el viernes 4. And I am going to say, what activity are we going to do? We're going to go to the dentist. Okay, we're going to go to the dentist on that day. Okay, you are going to go to the dentist on Friday four. You are going to go to the dentist. And if you say, <laughs> okay, alguien me está coloreando ahí el cuadro. <laughs> there you go. What you can choose, for example, Wednesday 16. Another activity, you say, um, go to the movies. That's your activity for the 16, okay? And there you have, you are going to write different activities for different days, okay? But you are going to leave some days empty, okay? That's what you are going to do with your group. Let me clear all the drawings. And I need you please to to take a screenshot of this. Sáquele un screenshot al calendario. Go ahead, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of the calendar. Sáquele un screenshot al calendario. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Take a screenshot. Because you are going to use it with your group. And we are going to go here. Do you all have the little chart? Ya tienen todo el cuadrito para que se guíen más o menos en los días. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what you are going to do with your group, you are going to add different activities to the different days. Okay. But leave some days empty. Dejen al menos 10 días vacíos. Dejen al menos 10 días vacíos pero no seguidos, okay? And for the other days, you have to invent activities. 
What are you going to do? I don't know. Invent activities for the other days. But 10 days are going to be free. Okay? That's what you are going to do with your group. Right now, I am going to send you to work in the groups. Okay? And it is not necessary that you write it on the calendar. No lo van a escribir en el calendario necesariamente, sino que pueden poner en su cuaderno el lunes 7, miércoles 4, jueves 8, por ejemplo. And you write the activity. Later on, I am going to tell you why. Okay? Cuando vuelvan, les voy a decir para qué lo vamos a ocupar. Let's go to the breaker rooms. We're going to create only two. Okay? I have two rooms. Go to your rooms and I'm going to go and visit you right now. Yeah. Accept the invitation to go to the groups. Thank you. Janet, did you receive the invitation to go to the group? Did you receive the invitation? ¿Te llegó la invitación, Janet, para unirte a los grupos? No. No, no me he llegado. Okay. Ahorita. Ahorita, revisa. ¿Te llegó la invitación? Sí. Dale unirte. Ahí está. Thanks. en línea, preguntémosle. Ok, entonces sería... Hola. Yo lo voy a empezar a hacer ahorita del 11 al 15. Eh, voy a hacer la, la, las cinco actividades que hago en estos días. Sí. Okay. Sí, chef, consulta. Hello. Ajá. Eh, entendimos que no pueden ser los 10 días corridos que quedan libres, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, no importa si las actividades son repetidas. No. Okay. No. Listen, you are going to do it as a group. Uh -huh. Okay. The group has the activities. Sí. For example, let me see. Let me share. Le puedo compartir pantalla. Okay. Ah, okay. Now I have it. Okay. ¿Qué van a hacer como grupo? Ok. Aquí. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes como grupo? Van a armar diferentes actividades en el calendario. Por ejemplo, van a decir ustedes, ¿va? ¿qué vamos a hacer el, el 2? El miércoles 2. Y le ponen una actividad cualquiera. Y le ponen, por ejemplo, eh, go to the beach. Ok. Go to... Go to the beach. 
Esa es la actividad del 2. Y ahora digan, por ejemplo, vaya, el 25, ponerle que vamos a ir a, a estudiar. A estudiar inglés. ¿Ok? Y de ahí viene otro y dice, vaya, el 5, hagamos tal cosa. Y entre todos van a ir poniendo actividades en el calendario. ¿Ok? Pero no van a dejar... Porque por... ahorita... Ajá. Perdón. Ahorita lo que habíamos hecho es dividirnos los días y este... Cada uno iba a dejar un día el que, el que le mejor le pareciera a dejarlo en blanco para okay. no dejarlos corridos. You can do it like that. No hay problema. Lo pueden hacer así. Ok. Pero la idea es que todos conozcan el calendario. Por eso les recomendaba que pusieran las actividades entre todos. Así como uno que, por ejemplo, uno que tuviera el calendario y que lo pudiera ir, ir editando. ¿verdad? No sé si alguno de ustedes está en una computadora o en una tablet donde lo puede trabajar. O si no, lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno. Voy a ponerle el Sunday 13, el 13. ¿Qué vamos a hacer el domingo 13? Y dicen todos, ah, eh, I don't know. Go to a restaurant. Shopping. Go shopping, vaya. Go shopping. Y ahí se van. Ya tienen un día, ya tienen el otro. Y así lo van poniendo. Okay. No es que lo van a llenar todo el calendario pero tienen que dejar al menos 10 días sin nada. ¿Eh? Okay. O sea, diferente. Okay. Eh, si no todo sería de rellenar lo que son la mayor parte, pero dejar siempre los 10 días dentro del equipo, rellenarla. Exactamente, porque todos tienen que conocer el calendario. ¿Qué va a pasar? El otro grupo ah, va a venir y le va a decir, por ejemplo, a ustedes, hey, are you free on Friday 11? Y ustedes, si tienen algo que hacer, pues, ni modo, les van a decir, no, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Or, yes, I'm free. ¿Ok? Después vamos a comparar calendario. Ya van a ver lo que vamos a hacer después. Ahorita necesito que los armen. ¿Ok? Armen los calendarios. Go ahead. Entonces, eh, eh, así vamos a continuar como lo habíamos, como habíamos empezado. O alguien va, puede compartir la pantalla porque yo estoy en, por teléfono, o sea, no, no, no podría compartirlo. No sé si José está en computadora. Negativo. <coughs> Negativo. Estoy en el teléfono. Antonio, Antonio. Estoy en teléfono también. Entonces háganlo así, solo van diciendo las fechas y le van okay. poniendo actividad. Sí, en mi caso, tengo enumerada en mi cuaderno. No me ven. Nice. En, enumerada en mi cuaderno tengo los días. Eh, una línea por día, digamos. Y vamos poniendo la actividad. Perfect. Soluciones prácticas a la vida moderna. Okay, Excelente. La cosa es que sepan qué día y qué fecha. Exacto. Ah, sí, vamos. viernes uno, sábado cuatro, jueves tanto. That's the way, okay? I am going to go to the other room to see what they are doing. Voy a ir a ver qué están haciendo los otros. Ya vengo. Por eso, pero te mandar, digamos, los nombres al, al, ahí al chat para, digamos, que cada, en, en, el, en el orden que se manden los... Los nombres así, los números del 1 al en secuencia hasta el 31. Ok. Me gusta cómo se organizan entre ustedes. Ok. Remember, it is not necessary that you fill up everything. No tienen que llenar todos los días. ¿verdad? Tienen que dejar al menos 10 libres. Ok. And the idea is that you know all the different days, que todos sepan qué va a pasar en los diferentes días. Ok. ¿Por qué? Porque vamos a volver con el otro grupo y el otro grupo les va a preguntar a ustedes. Are you free on Saturday 19? Y entonces ustedes tienen que saber si tienen o no actividad ese día. And you are going to say, well, yes, I am free or no, I am not free. I am going to go to the dentist, for example. Okay? So everybody has to know the different activities. It is better, for example, if you do it together. No sé si lo pueden hacer juntos, que sea una persona el que tome notas, o cómo lo van a separar. Ah, ahorita queremos agarrar tres días por cada uno, teacher. Ajá. Hacer las actividades y luego compartirlas, compartirlas entre nosotros mismos. Ok. 
organismo. Para tener cabal, eh, para agarrar exactamente los días que corresponden, sobrando los 10 que ya dejamos libres. Ok, vale, hagámoslo pues. Ya, bueno, vuelvo. ya vuelvo a ver cómo les quedo. Bueno, teacher. Ok. Para el día 10, ¿le parece ese? Ok. Go to the store. Eh, Está bien así como se escribe, Joana. Sí. Go to the store. Play. Go to the store. Place. Para el día, el día 16, yo tengo play soccer. Ok, entonces vámonos. Eh, este, eh, ¿qué, no, ¿qué, día, tenemos... ¿qué día es? Perdón. Alma. Eh, Hola. ¿Qué día es el 10? Es el... Eh... Sí, jueves creo que es. Jueves. Jueves. Ah, es sí, ya... Jueves. Sí. Entonces hay que ponerle ahí Thursday. Thursday. Sí, eh, ten. sí le voy poniendo la, en los días. Uh -huh. ah, yo no tengo una. Eh, okay. Go to the festival Sunday, eh, Sunday eh, 20. ¿Cómo? De acuerdo, que teníamos libre. ¿va? Teníamos el 1, el 3 y el 4, el 8, el 9, el 11, el 2, el 14, el 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 28, 29 y 30. Esos eran los que teníamos para poner actividades. Bueno, yo ya les mandé al chat mis, cuatro, mis días y mis actividades. Excelente. Y el 28 de junio de los de también. Así de I like that one. Go to Sibarland, go to visit my mom and go to the beach. Sí, yo solo la pregunta que le hice al principio de, por ejemplo, Newman, en esas palabras, así en la segunda, Newman, en la segunda que dice Paz, ¿cómo saber cuando se, ajá, cuando se, saber cuando se pronuncia Space o Paz o en ese Caterin Solorza no. Sí, le hubiera puesto el día porque recuerdo que ella dijo que el día también. 
Ah, okay, ahí, se, ahí se pueden ubicar en el calendario, el 2, el 18, el 26. Póngale el día para que se ubiquen más fácil. Para que ella sepa qué día es. Ahí está. Okay. Let me see what the other group is doing. Yo tengo otra, sería en Friday 27. Friday 27, what? Uh -huh. ¿Qué dijeron en Friday 27? Travel to Mexico. Ah, I go to visit <laughs> friends. I go to ah. visit friends. Ah, ok. Go to visit friend. Tengo una, pero no sé si, si así se, se escribe o así, uh, ¿verdad? No problem. Which one? Eh, ahorita la tengo que mandar al chat. Ah, go to Cibarland. Hey, you want to go to Cibarland. Oh my God. Bueno, What day? You don't say go to Cibarland. You say go to Cibarland. Oh. Eh, ¿Qué día? ¿Qué día? ¿Ocho? Go to the movie on Tuesday. Uh, 22. Alma, is is day... Hey. ¿Qué día es, Alma? What day? Hey. On the 8th, August 8th. Ah, hey. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, Cibarland sí. is an amusement park. Amusement park es un parque de diversiones. Cibarland yes. is an amusement park. Do you like the attractions? Yes. Do you like the attractions or or the or the rides? Do you like them? Eh, teacher, eh, yep. tiene que ir antes de Cibarland. No, no, no. Yo le, lo que les digo, Cibarland, it's okay because that's the name we have here in El Salvador. Ese es el nombre que le han dado aquí al Salvador. Entonces, si te decimos, por ejemplo, I want to go to Cibarland, tú comprendes que es el parque de diversiones. Lo que yo les explicaba es que Cibarland es un amusement park. En inglés, amusement park es parque de diversiones. De diversiones. That's what oh, I was explaining. Okay. No, but here in El Salvador, if you say, hey, let's go to Cibarland, you know what it is. It's like Consuma, right? Do you remember? Hey, let's go to Consuma. Consuma was the top thing. Okay. Right? Todo el mundo quería ir a Consuma. ¿A qué? A nada. A caminar. <laughs> yeah, consume. So when you say like I want to go to the amusement park, I want to go to Cibarland here in El Salvador. Okay. okay. A ver, chicos, Edwin. Una. 
Watch TV. Watch TV. <laughs> okay. Okay. The students are going to come back in a couple of minutes from the break of rooms. They are finishing their calendars. Did you finish? Did you finish people with all the days? Yes or no? Ya terminaron. Did you finish? Okay, let's finish because we only have two minutes. Okay. We have two minutes. Eleven, do exercise. Okay, Ilse Marlene, Ilse was in room number one. Okay, there you have in the chat, a lot of information. Go to the pantry. Okay, Leticia, go to the pantry or to the party. To the party, party. No, que es como la despensa, la despensa. De la ah, casa. no, 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 but in that case, so you say, okay, no, on Wednesday the 23rd, if you say go to the pantry, vas a ir a abrir el mueble a ver qué hay ahí, vea. Go to the party. In that case, you better say go to the to the grocery store. Que vas a ir como a la tienda de, de, de abarrotes. O al supermarket. You can say al supermarket. Uh, supermarket, entonces. Uh -huh. supermarket. Go to the supermarket. It's better, right? Si no al pantry, porque ahí guardaste unos tu dulce. Y lo vas a ir a buscar. <laughs> On the pantry. <laughs> It's not Thank you, teacher. Ahí los escondo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Solo Janet creo que nos falta o ya mandó. Janet, ya tenés su día. Sigue trabajando. La cara me lo dijo todo. <risa> Janet, your days. Solo a vos te estamos esperando. Janet. <risa> ok, I will come back. Voy al, al otro grupo. Janet, ¿nos escuchas? Estamos esperando que nos envíes tus fechas. Ay, ya ni le sé porque le digo una y que las quieren. Pero... No, it's okay, it's okay, you can repeat. I mean, ya. Yeah. Imagínense que pusiéramos lo que realmente hacemos todos los días. Go to work, go to work, 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 work. That's what we do every day. Okay, send it. Envíalas, eh, Janet, porque ya vamos a terminar.
Okay. Welcome back. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Christian. Hello, teacher. Welcome back. Okay. So, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So that's it. Now you have your calendars. You have the different groups, right? We have the different things that we were doing. I am going to send you the groups. Let me see. Algunos ya se fueron para la playa porque dijo a las nueve y uno se pueden ir para la playa. I know. You are very obedient. <laughs> you are very obedient. Bye, teacher. Ching. 901, right? I know you are very obedient. So, we are going to work on this. I need you to fix the calendar on vacations because we are going to use it when we come back, okay? Ahorita lo hicieron hacerlo loco, así como, ah, on vacation, you will have the time to create the calendar, to take the days and organize everything, okay? So that's what you are going to do on vacation. Organize your calendar. You are going to organize your calendar in a very beautiful way because we are going to use it when we come back, okay? So I wish you to have a beautiful time on vacation. Enjoy, be very careful, please, okay? Be very careful if you go to the beach, if you go outside, if you go to Sibarlan, if you go anywhere, be careful. I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. Thank you, kids. Have a wonderful night. Descansen, cuídense, pasenla bonito. Los veo el lunes. Bye, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. This is vacation. Enjoy your vacations. Bye-bye.